Chancellor, it was a colossal mistake, was it not, to cut the winter fuel payment when we now know that bills are going to rise by 10% in October. Huge mistake. When I became Chancellor of the Exchequer, I inherited a £22 billion black hole in the public finances. Taking no action wasn't an option because that would have made it difficult for the government to finance its, uh, uh, its, its needs and we would have ended up in the same position that the previous Conservative government uh, ended up in, uh, with mortgage rates and interest rates spiking and pensions being put in peril. So we had to take difficult decisions in very challenging circumstances because the previous government was overspending by £22 billion just this year alone and we had to take action to get a group of the public finances. This is your decision on your watch at a time when bills are going up by 10%. You should have handled this better, shouldn't you? The truth is that these are not decisions that I wanted to make, but these are decisions we had to make given the inheritance that we face from the Conservative government. And there'll be more difficult decisions to come in the budget later this year. It's a stark reality after the mess that the previous Conservative government had left this Labour government to inherit. It means difficult decisions, but without difficult decisions, we're going to face serious problems with our public finances. I will not take the risks that the Conservatives have taken previously that would put our uh, uh, economy in danger and would make it difficult to finance government spending. On the, the last question on this particular uh, theme, the uh, Committee on Fuel Poverty says that there are people above your threshold that you're now talking about for these payments who are going to need help. What are you going to do about this and why can't you just say this was a mistake? We were left a £22 billion black hole for this year in the public finances. Those are numbers and that was spending covered up by the previous Conservative government who during the election campaign made more unfunded commitments. We cannot carry on like this. And so it's not a decision I wanted to make, but it was a decision that I had to make in incredibly challenging circumstances to put our public finances on a firm, fitting, firm footing. I would never take risks in the way that Conservatives did with our economic stability and our financial stability, because when you take risks with the country's uh, financial stability, you go the same way that the previous Conservative government did, putting huge pressure on family finances with interest rates and mortgage rates spiking and putting pensions in peril. I won't take those risks. That requires difficult decisions. There are more difficult decisions to come in the budget later this year because of the mess that the previous Conservative government have left this Labour government to pick up the pieces of.